Hi everyone, this is Counseling 4000, Chapter 22, Making the Referral and Assembling the Record. So use the referral notification form to make referrals to these other agencies, these provider agencies that we have talked about in the previous chapters. One, all referrals are coming from the case management unit for which you work. In this case, it would be Wildwood Case Management Unit. Let's pretend that that's the company that you work for. Two, write the name of the agency to which you are referring the person after the work to. Three, note that the date of the referral was made. Four, write the person's name, address, and phone number after the RE in the box, meaning referral or referencing. Um, five, write the goal the referral is to address in list form. Six, the target date is the date you expect the goals to be met. Seven, at the review date, place the date on which you intend to review this case plan to see if the plan is working for that person. The review date comes before the target date. Okay. Obviously, the target date means that you're kind of done. So you want to have somewhere in there where you're actually going to review to make sure that it's actually going to uh, where you hope that the direction of this uh, this intervention will be. And of course, eight, write your name in the blank for case manager. The target date, how long you expect it to take for the service to obtain the goals you and your client have worked out uh, for your client. When the setting a target date, decide how long you are willing to continue to try this approach without seeing any results. After that, change things around. So obviously, if this approach doesn't work, you're going to want to change things around, refer them to a different person, or update the intervention types, uh, change the intervention types, so that uh, we can uh, you know, really get to this client's goals. The target date is influenced by two factors, funding, which is the money portion, and then of course the goal. Um, let's say that a person wants to stop smoking. That is not going to happen in one week. Okay, so we have to make sure that the funding and the goal are realistic. It might be six months, it might be a year. And so we want to then figure out exactly how we're going to do it. So do we meet once every week or once every month or how does that work? And does your insurance company, if they have an insurance company or if it's uh, them paying out of pocket, which one's realistic, what is you know possible and stuff like that. Because we also don't want to bankrupt this specific person as well. The review date. Review date comes before the target date, as we said before, and is the date you expect to review the specific service in the plan to see if the plan is actually working. So most cases, every 90 days is something that they do, like every three months. If it's a six-day detox, maybe the third day is a good day to review. So let's say that if they're actually going into treatment and the treatment is only six days long, we're going to visit them on the third day, halfway through, just to see, hey, is it working or is it not working? Is this client in a lot of pain? Uh, is that supposed to happen or not and all that stuff and then we will then uh, update our records to show that they're actually working on it or if it's not successfully uh, working on that that specific goal then we need to maybe change things up a little bit the face sheet so that's worksheet number one it's really weird the way that they put the order of this uh, in the book but again this is actually the the cover of your file usually it's also also known as the face sheet number one place the name of the individual the agency number you have assigned the person and person's address and phone number two if the person is a child someone with a severe intellectual disability or mental illness or an elderly person in need of a guardian, put the guardian's information in the next section. If it does not apply, write NA. You don't want to ignore it because then people go, did the person forget to fill this part out? If you write NA, that means, hey, I saw this and I'm saying that it's not applicable to the specific person. Three, next of kin in case of an emergency. Next of kin is usually like some family member, but if it's not a family member, it's a really close friend or support system, you can also do it there and then just specify friend or whatever it is. Four, if there are numbers that the client does not want the case manager to call, you wouldn't want to list there. Five, below the top box, date of first contact, fill in only the information that applies. And of course, number six is sign your face sheet. So you sign it off so that we know that you are the one who completed this. What you should have now is the face sheet. Uh, number two is the inquiry and referral form. Three, verification letter. Four, uh, assessment form and or social history. Five, release of any information forms. Uh, six is the service plan and then seven is the referral.